What's up everybody, Jim Games Live here, and in today's video, we're going to be reacting to Sabaton's Bismarck. Now, I don't know much about this band. Actually, scratch that, I know nothing about this band. Well, scratch that, I know one thing about this band. <laughs> I know one thing, one thing. Uh, the one thing is, is that uh, my girl Floor from Nightwish is married to the drummer of this band. So I thought, you know what, hey, let's, uh, let's deviate down a different little rabbit hole here and see what these guys are all about. I'm pretty pumped to get into it. Uh, I'm assuming Floor probably holds people to a pretty high musical standard, and if she's willing to marry the guy, he's probably not a crab drummer, I would assume. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's switch screens here. Hey, uh, if you're new around here, please consider liking and subscribing. We do this kind of stuff every day. Uh, we're always having a lot of fun. I'd love to have you. All right, without further ado, let's check out Sabaton. All right, Sabaton, who are you? Who are you, people? the uh, official music video. Which blew up the mighty battle cruiser hood. Huh. Cinematics are really good. I feel like I'm so, about to... Uh, did you find the boat? Get into a movie. Oh, they're gonna play on the boat. I think that's what they're gonna do. It's actually really difficult to do. Play in the open water <laughs> makes you sick, man. I'm getting like um like Judas Priest vibes from these guys. I hate comparing other bands to other bands, but that's just kind of like the first impression I'm getting. Uh, catchy as all hell though, huh? I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Whoa. So cool looking. Production value on this video alone is pretty impressive. Um, we'll touch on the music in a little bit, but uh, what we're seeing from just a cinematic standpoint is um, it's pretty wild here. Like, um, this is pretty dang wild. Um, 
I can't imagine how much this music video costs. Um, everything looks absolutely beautiful. Like I said, I'm getting a real cool, like, kind of almost Judas Priest type vibe from these guys. Uh, catchy is all hell. I love that little guitar hook they get going. That boom, like it's. I'm butchering it. I don't know why I do that. Why do I fucking mouth that shit? I don't. <laughs> why am I swearing? I'm trying not to swear either. Um, it's it's really it's 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 pretty impressive. I, I'm enjoying it so far. I want to see this movie. Of the ocean, the depths of the abyss, they are bound by iron and blood. The flagship of the navy, the terror of the seas, his guns have gone silent at last. Beautiful solo. in my head all day now this is so god dang catchy um i love the fills the guitar solo is fantastic but this is it's gonna be in my head for a while Interesting. You know, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure where this was going in the beginning. Let me find a better frame here. Um, it, like I said in the beginning, I got these like Judas Priest vibes and everything, and which is fine. You know, I'm a, I'm a Judas Priest fan, but I'm like, is this just like another version of that? But as the song progressed, I mean, it got super catchy. Um, I'm gonna have that guitar riff in my head all day. I, I can just tell right now. Um, at first, I thought maybe his vocals were a little bit low in the mix for my likings. Uh, it seemed. <laughs> You see that from time to time. It's like what happens is vocalists that just aren't as strong vocally, they tend to lower themselves in the mix. Sometimes. Not all the time. Sometimes you'll see like, you know, in Tool's case where, you know, uh, James Keenan, I think his name, James, I don't even know his name. The lead singer of Tool, like he does that a lot of times where he puts himself really low in the mix, but he's actually a really fantastic vocalist. I thought that's what we were kind of seeing right here. Um... I thought, but maybe he was hiding behind something. But as this song progressed, like it kept getting more and more epic, and uh, his vocals started to shine through. And I feel like after hearing the entire song, I think I kind of like where his vocals are right now. And that's not saying that I don't enjoy his vocals. I thought it was really cool. This whole song had a very light, airy metal feel to it. Uh, it wasn't super dark. It uh, it was catchy, like I said, um, and it makes you, it pumps you up. Like I feel like this is like the perfect song to like get in the treadmill and go running or going to war, or whatever you're going to do. Like, this song gets you pumped up, and it makes you want to get going. Um, I would love to hear more Sabaton. I, I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to check out a couple more of these guys. Um, I don't know if this is the right one to start with. Um, this is just kind of the one I picked at random. Um, so, if you enjoyed today's content, please consider liking and subscribing if you'd like to see more stuff like this, because I'm doing it every day, and I want to see more of you. All right, guys. I'm going to catch you in the next video. Good night, everybody.